bunch of herd shit. I got to catch my motherfucker, bro. I ain't even trying to perpetrate shit. I don't even think I got panties on. I was rushing so motherfucking much. Shit, baby. Oh, but a big girl can handle her shit by any means necessary. You hear what the fuck I'm saying? By any means necessary. You skinny bitches couldn't have fucked with that. You'd have been panicking right now. Oh, God, oh, God. You crazy bitches. Big women, it's time, baby. It's time. You know what? I feel the skinny bitch vibe looking at me right now because I'm sharp as a motherfucker. I feel that hateful motherfucking vibe. Y'all mad at this leg right here. This is a motherfucking leg right here. This leg can kill a nigga. Wow! What you say, nigga? <laughs> Big women, y'all looking sharp as a motherfucker. Don't you starve your goddamn job. Eat. Eat whatever the fuck. We are in style right now. It's November. You skinny bitches get ready to be lonely as a motherfucker. Come on, nigga, where you going, nigga, where you going? I got to go get warm, bitch. I got to go get warm, bitch. <laughs> oh, big girls, handle your shit. And I'm going to keep walking back and forth so I don't deprive none of the skinny bitches of seeing how good I look on this motherfucker's day. I know y'all mad, but fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. I want a skinny bitch to look like she want to say some shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, bitch, you better think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, a big bitch can be intimidating. You ain't even got to hit a skinny. You ain't got to say shit to her. You just look at that bitch. Make her feel real uncomfortable. I think that's my seat. <laughs> Fuck her. And brothers, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. You need some protection, get your old fat bitch. Your skinny bitches can't protect the motherfucking soul. You're scared of every goddamn thing. Let some shit jump off right now, tonight. Y'all bitch asses is running and hiding and shit, climbing under chairs, you're crying. Oh God, they fighting, please. Big girl be like, nigga, y'all ain't said a motherfucking thing. Shit. I fight everybody in this motherfucker. Then go to Popeyes. <laughs> oh, baby. Y'all looking good, baby. All the big women out here tonight. Fine as shit. Y'all got on your finest shit. Looking fabulous, you're sparkling and shit. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't you ever be ashamed of your fat ass. Fuck these people. And here you are. What's your name, boo? Debbie, you handle your shit. Fuck them. That's right. All right, Debbie. Shit. You handle your motherfucking program, Debbie. Fuck them. You better do it, Debbie. Shit. You proud to be a big, beautiful woman, Debbie? That's what the fuck I'm saying. How much you weigh, Debbie? I'm... Debbie, fuck them, Debbie. That's me and you, Debbie. Me and you, Debbie, how much you weigh, Debbie? Fuck that, Debbie. Because I weigh 121. I'm trying to figure out how much the fuck you weigh. Ah! <laughs> fuck them, Debbie. Shit. 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 And big man, y'all sexy as a motherfucker, too. You se Huh? What you saying? Set your bitch ass down, you country motherfucker. Don't get your feelings hurt up in here, bitch. I ain't the one. Shit, that's why you by your damn self. Sit your black ass down, you simple bitch. I hate niggas that jump up and want to be seen, you crazy fuck. <laughs> that's why I love black men, baby. He don't give a fuck. In his mind, he doing the look at his gay ass. Why don't you bend over and let somebody fuck you in your ass? <laughs> people, baby. I love our people. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. That's what make black women so special. We don't give a fuck. We'll start shit anywhere. We don't give a fuck. Where we are, we will set some shit off. We don't give a fuck. We can be in church in the motherfucking choir and the bitch keep getting us wrong. 
We're trying to pray to Jesus. Mm, I'm going up to yonder. Bitch, go ahead now. <laughs> Sisters carry too much motherfucking power, baby. And you know what? All that shit that happened on September the 11th, my heart goes out for those people, baby. All them victims and shit. You know what I'm saying? That was some devastating shit. They chopped us off at our knees, but we're strong, baby. We're like, fuck that. We're coming back. And everybody said to me, Monique, you going to fly? Because you know, they blowing up shit. I said, listen, my faith in God won't allow me to sit still. When it's my motherfucking time, it's my time. I'm going to go on this road and make my goddamn money and do what I need to do. You know a bitch going to get her money. Wait a minute, nigga. Shit. Y'all got some money over here, shit. Fuck that, you can't be in fear. And they say when it's your time, it's your time. But what happens if you sit next to a bitch that is her time and it ain't your motherfucking time? You be mad and shit, you crazy bitch, it ain't my time. You be up there arguing with St. Peter and shit. Hey, hey, shit. Y'all knew I had a show in Hampton. <laughs> Baby, black women. We'll talk most shit. We can talk shit to our kids. We let our kids know, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. We in church. You better read the Bible, say some hymns. Don't get fucked up. But black kids are smart as shit too. That's why I love, I got two boys, 15 and 11, and I love how they get down with their shit. Now my 15 year old, he's an academic thug, and I'm cool with that. Smart as a motherfucker, but will fight at the drop of a dime. That's my nigga. Now my 11 year old, he wanna save the world. He thinks everything's beautiful. I'm like, he's like, the trees are wonderful. <laughs> you see the birds? I'm like, is this some gay shit? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? And he talks very white. Now y'all know how the fuck I talk. I'm like, where did his ass come from? And sometimes I get irritated when he's talking to me because I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? Mom, today at school, where the fuck did you go today? It's school, nigga, damn. But he's intelligent as shit. And you know what? One day I was going to whip his ass, but because of his intelligence, I could not whip his ass, baby. I had to go up to the school one day to pick him up. I was going to surprise him, take him out to Chuck E. Cheese. He was in like the third grade. We're going to hang out, just me and him. It's all day. I get to the school. Little white teacher sitting there crying. And he's sitting there like, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck she crying for. And I'm nervous. I'm like, well, what, what's wrong? What didn't happen up here in the school? What didn't happen? And the teacher said, we have a problem. So she got real problem. Me, I got problem back on that bitch. I said, what's the problem? <laughs> she said, well... Today, you know, we were having recess, and it was time for Shalon to come in, and he didn't want to come in, so I chased him, and he ran into the little boy's bathroom, and I ran after him, and he hit me in my face with a soccer ball. And this bitch's face is red, her eyes sitting out, like a nigga done banged up in her eye. That's a nigga bang, that wasn't no white boy bang, that was a nigga bang up in her eye. So I'm looking at Shalon, I said, Shalon, did you hit this bitch in her face? With the ball? He said, yes, mom. Yes, I did. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, this motherfucker want me to kill him. <laughs> I've been there because you know this bitch going to try to sue me. So I said, well, Shalon, you know, the, what happened? Well, she said, happened, happened. He said, yes, mom. Yes, it did. So I'm gritting my teeth. I said, now, you know when I get your ass home, I'm going to whip your ass, right? He said, yes, mom. I know you are. So now I'm getting nervous as shit because he ain't scared. I'm like, well, what the fuck is going on? This little nigga's crazy because he ain't flinch not one time. He like, bring it shit. So we get home and I'm like, Shalon, go in your room, take off your clothes. I'm ready to whip your ass. Turn the shower on, put your ass in the shower, get out and don't dry off. You'll get ready to get fucked up in here. I'm not playing with your black ass. Remember them kind of whippings? Put your ass in the shower and get out wet. Bitch, that's abuse. What the fuck do you want to do that to me for? But I was going to be that kind of mother that day because he disrespected an adult. Fuck that she was white. It was an adult. So he did everything I said. So I go in the room. I'm ready to whip his ass. I got the thickest belt. I said, now lay across the bed. He said, Mom, before you beat me, I need to tell you something. I said, what the fuck you want to tell me, boy? 
He said, I know what I did was wrong. But, you know, there were these voices <laughs> telling me, do something bad, do something bad, do something bad. <laughs> so I'm looking at this motherfucker like, what the fuck? What they say? What they say? He was like, do something bad, do something bad. So no parent wants to admit that her kid is fucked up. No parent wants to think her kid is a motherfucking psychotic maniac. So now I'm panicking and shit. I go in my bedroom, I'm crying. I call my husband, I said, come home. Because Shalon is hearing voices and they're telling him to do something bad. He said, Monique. I said, I'm serious. And I was gonna whip him, but he's in there and he's saying the voices talking to him. So my husband rushed home. Go in the room for about two hours. I don't hear nothing. I said, okay, they, they straighten it out. He come out the room, he say, listen, we need to lock our door. Cause this nigga is hearing something and I don't want him to come in here and fuck us up. So we gonna lock our shit up in here tonight. So I'm like, oh shit, he needs help. Please, God, please. What the fuck is wrong with my baby? So I'm gonna tell you, baby, about two weeks later, I'm sitting at home watching the Cartoon Network. I don't never fuck with the Cartoon Network, but this particular day, the spirit led me to watch the Cartoon Network and the Rugrats was on. You know that little bad bitch Angelica, the real bad one? She was telling her parents the same motherfucking story. And the voices said, do something bad, do something bad, baby. I got in my car, went up to his school, pulled his black ass out of class. I said, I heard them motherfucking voices. And they told me to whip your ass, whip your ass, you motherfucker. But I had to get that nigga brownie points. That was some smart shit. <laughs> to be on your feet like that. Y'all, come on. Niggas will be late, baby. Come on, just sit your black ass. Sit your black ass down. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what, baby? Our black kids instinctively are smart kids. You can't charm our black kids with no motherfucking candy, get in your car and go for a ride. Black kids be like, fuck you. Not doing that bullshit. That's how come Michael Jackson never invited black kids to never, never land. He knew they'd have fucked up his amusement park. He said, fuck you, Michael, we going home, Thriller. Shit. But Michael was smart, he kept fucking with them little white kids. He, y'all know he fucked that little boy, he fucked that monkey Bubbles, he fucked every motherfucking body. You ain't seen Bubbles no more, have you? He fucked that monkey. That's what happened to him. And he fucked that little white boy and they paid him $56 million to be quiet. Fuck that. His parents pimped his ass. How do you allow somebody to pay you some motherfucking money for a grown ass man to fuck him up in his ass like that? Go ahead, just be quiet. They paid him $56 million. I told my sons, baby, and I got wonderful black kings. If you ever see that sick motherfucker walking down the street, just poke your ass out a little bit. Let him run up in that ass. Be there. Be there at Hampton. My name is Monique.